everybody. Today we're going to talk about remodeling and just the thought of remodeling can be a very daunting task and people just don't know where to begin. But today what I'm going to do is try to make it a little easier so that it doesn't become so overwhelming. Um, there's probably seven steps to making the task a little easier and I'm going to walk you through it so get ready and take some notes. The first step is to decide the scope of your project. Figure out what it is you're really wanting to do and think about the style that you're going to do. Is it going to be contemporary? Is it going to be coastal? Is it going to be traditional? You know, all those things play into how the finished project's going to be. So the next step, the second step, is to figure out your budget. Be realistic about it. How much can you actually spend without breaking the bank? And then prioritize what are the most important things. So if you, if you do need to cut things out, you know, what's the most important thing? What's going to give you the most bang for your buck? And, and what you could cut out and not ruin the whole project. The third step is to gather all the elements, as you can kind of see before me. And this can be kind of tricky. But you have to kind of get the look down um, and pick things that work together. Uh, as you can see, here I have a, a painted door that's been distressed. This is a job I'm actually working on. Um, Cambria um, countertops and splash. I have stone for the fireplace. And fabrics and carpeting that I have that are going to go inside the house. So as you pick each element, your dreams sort of come together for you and you can see it all. And um, But you have to pick, you know, each of the elements. There's probably... Under each category, there's probably 200 steps, and so that's where it can be overwhelming. But if you just take it step by step, it can be easy. So step number four, once you've gathered all your elements, and remember, in, the, in gathering the elements, it's only stopped by two things, your pocketbook and your imagination. So you can expand or contract according to what fits into your particular project. But the fourth step is, is finding the subcontractors that will actually do the work and then putting all of that together and getting bids from them and make sure you get it in writing. Now the fifth step is to start ordering all of the pieces and parts to your remodel and make sure you get the lead times because that's really critical. Um, you want to make sure that you, you're not ordering something that's four months out and you've just ripped up your kitchen last week because that doesn't work very well. So you want to make sure that each part of the job is going to be there when you begin and also that your subcontractors, um, you know how long they have to be in the house to do their part of the job. Now the sixth step that I like to do is I like to make a little calendar of all my subs and when they are going to be there, how many days that they're going to take, and make sure that there's no overlap so that, you know, the cabinet guy isn't trying to put in the cabinets while the flooring guy is trying to install the floor underneath it. That's not going to work. So you need to plug in how many days each piece is going to take and what should come first. In other words, too, the cabinets have to go in before the countertop guy can come and make his template. And then he has to come in after that. So um, it's critical that the schedule be really coordinated. And then the last piece on this is that you expect the unexpected. Because 99% of projects, there's always something that is throws things off or is a little different. And that's not to view it as a negative, it's just to be prepared so that you know that probably there'll be some changes and it won't throw you into a, a tizzy over the whole thing. It'll be a more enjoyable project for you if you expect the unexpected. So the last step is to sit back and enjoy the process. That's what this is all about. So remember, you have to Define the scope of your project, make sure you know what your look is going to be, plan your budget, gather all your elements, 
make sure you find great subcontractors to do the work and then schedule it all of, you have to order it and then and then um, schedule all of it so that it's it's planned out properly and then you can just sit back and enjoy the process <laughs>